hi hello welcome back to my channel if you need her hey how you doing my name is ash and we are going to be doing an empties video and this will be my last official empties video on this channel so empties if you aren't aware um this has been a trend on youtube for many 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 years and i haven't given it up until now I have been saving my trash to uh, share with you what products I have used up and I get it. People aren't interested in this anymore. So instead, on TikTok and Instagram, I will be doing like a quick like five product quickly that I've used up and whether or not I will repurchase that. So I have quite a lot of stuff in here because I have been going through it. Let's just get into this. First up are these AF94 Friendly Rewinder Makeup Remover Wipes. I actually really like these. I will purchase this again. I found it at Walmart. It is Halsey's second brand. I'm into some of the products I've tried. These actually work pretty well. I like them more than the ones I just bought. So this is a styling dry shampoo from the brand Dr. C Tuna. Uh, this was actually sent to me from a friend who works for a brand called Pharmacy and she sent me a couple things to try out and I tried this. There's still a little product in here but it's not coming out as well. It's okay. I don't use dry shampoo as much anymore. Not bad. Not gonna repurchase it though. Not that I purchased it in the first place. Let's just get this out of the way. So I recently reorganized my makeup drawers and I was cleaning out my foundation drawer and this one just leaked everywhere and I don't understand how it leaked because it's sealed up pretty nicely. This is the Oma by Sharon C foundation, the Flawless IRL. I love this and I already repurchased it. Another dry shampoo, this one is from Batiste. Um, not much to say about it, Batiste is one of my favorite dry shampoo brands, but I don't buy it anymore. I finished up two powders. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, completely empty. I actually really like this one. I will repurchase it when I get through some of my other powders. That one was very good. And then I finished up a NYX HD Translucent Setting Powder. This is a pressed powder. I use this all the way up. I love this one also. Another thing I will repurchase eventually, I'm just trying to use up some current powders, but this is pretty good for setting the whole face. And I like the e.l.f. one for like under the eyes and then I'm a double setter, which you will see if you watch my previous video. I like um, setting my face. This is another dry shampoo from IGK. This is the First Class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo. I have to say out of all the dry shampoos I have tried, I really like this, but it's almost $40 for the full size. It's like, oh. Ooh, that's a lot of money for a dry shampoo. I'd rather just wash my hair. <laughs> if it ever goes on sale, I will probably pick it up because, like I said, I tried it and I loved it. But for the price, no. This is the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer. Smashbox did somehow send this to me and I was very grateful for it. I have a backup of this already because they sent it to me again, but I love this. I didn't expect to like it but I started using it every day and eventually I used it up. This is wonderful. I love it. It has SPF of 25 in it so it's great for like uh summer you know. SPF in the summer is a must. SPF all year round is a must but yeah. Very good. Very happy I have a backup. Another makeup wipe. Nothing to write home about. Uh it took off makeup okay. Not the greatest just okay. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I think this one was sent to me, but I've purchased this multiple times over and over and over again. It is one of the best makeup cleansing balms that I've tried. I do have another one that I think I might like a little bit more, but this one is solid. I love it. And I've purchased that like for the past few years, I, I don't, I can't even tell you how many I went through. I actually have another empty setting powder. This is the baked powder from LEJ Beauty. This was wonderful. I actually think I have a backup of this also, and I really like this. It's very nice. It's just very nice under the eyes. It's really good at smoothing and blurring. It's called baked. You can bake with it. Um, I, I don't bake because I'm too dry for that. Very good, very good powder. I recommend it. And I have a code with LEJ Beauty, so. This is the Kinship Self Reflect Probiotic Moisturizing Sunscreen, SPF 32 in this one. This was also sent to me from Kinship and I love this and I will be buying this again when I get through some of my other current sunscreens, but this is really good, I think. I think this might be a slight dupe for this. 
Um, so the Kinship one is great. This is the e.l.f. Woglo one. I'm currently using this one. This one is super dark though. This one does darken my face a little bit, but this one makes it... If you saw my last video, you'll know. This just darkens it a lot. They're very similar. This is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacial Water Cream. This was also sent to me, and I used this up completely. It is a wonderful, wonderful moisturizer. I love this, and I've been trying Saturday Skin a lot lately, and what I've tried, I've been really into, like, Saturday Skin and Kinship are, like, grabbing my attention, and I just, I'm in love. I really do like this. It's something that I would probably pick up again just to have a rotation because I did like it that much, but I don't think it's, like, my go-to moisturizer. I have one that I'm going to talk about next, but this one, very solid, very good. This one, though, the Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Cream. This one has my heart, my soul, my nose. It smells wonderful, like a vanilla marshmallow. It is just wonderful. It's more of a gel moisturizer, so it's very, like, just, it's just very nice. Like, I like a good, like, heavy cream at night, but, like, for the everyday, like, this is amazing. Probably one of my favorite daily moisturizers. I have my particular ones for night, but this one, for, like, the morning and before makeup, I love it. I've gone through a couple of these already, but this is just hands down amazing. I went through four concealers. So Rapid Fire, KVD, Good Apple. I like it. Will I repurchase it? Probably not. Only because it's good, but I have others that I like better. Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This one is actually pretty good. I like to keep it in rotation of concealers that I buy every once in a while because I like the formula, but I think this one's going to replace it. This is also from Wet n Wild, the Incognita one. They're both good in their own way, but I like this one a little bit more, and it has a lighter shade for me. This is the lightest shade in the square one, and as you can see, the different in the tones. And one that I thought was very surprising that I actually really enjoyed was from Ulta Beauty. This is the full coverage concealer. I quite like this one. It wasn't very heavy. It was very light. It was great for uh, everyday makeup for me, and... I was really into it. I need to buy that again. Drunk Elephant is so expensive, but this is the C Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I love this. I love Drunk Elephant so much, but it is just so, so pricey. But I think they're at Ulta now, so I can use my points on them, but oh my god. I think this eye cream is like $60, but it's very nice, and I used it all up, and I'm sad that I used it up. I have some eye products that I used up, two mascaras and two liners. So the first one up is the KVD Tattoo Pencil Liner. This is their new one. I had it in black and I used this all up completely. Actually, I already bought a backup of this because a couple months ago it was on sale for half off. So I picked up a backup. Wonderful, wonderful black pencil. Absolutely love it. I'm actually sad that this one dried up already. This is the Half Magic one. This was sent to me through BoxyCharm. I absolutely love this one. Half Magic Beauty is so interesting to me. I love the tip on this. It's just, it's so unique and it works so well, but I used it too much and I used it up and now it's dried out. And then I have two mascaras. I'll get the mini one out of the way. This is the Anastasia Lash Brag one. Love this one. Have the full size, have a backup already. Probably my favorite mascara ever. Love it. And then this one was so disappointing to me. This was the ColourPop Hocus Pocus 2 one. The, what were you even called? This is the Bertrison one. It's supposed to be like this dark, like plummy purple color. It wouldn't show up on my lashes. I don't know if I just got a dried out one or what, but when I finally decided to use it, it just did not work. I've tried ColourPop's color mascaras before when they first launched several years ago, and they were wonderful this horrible so i finished up a fenty beauty in the sun bronzer this is the Sunstalker one in the shade in the sun i love this bronzer it's very light it's not very like overpoweringly orange or anything it's just a really nice bronzer for my pale complexion i was really into it i really liked it i would probably buy it again so i was subscribed to scentbird but i decided to cancel it because i just was wasting too much money on it and um, I finished up two and I have a third one that I'm just tossing of the little scents that they gave me so I got the so I got the confessions of a rebel get a room scent I really like this 
brand of fragrances. I really like this one. If you ask me to explain notes or anything of perfume, I can't tell you anything because I am terrible at that. It's one that I would wear more in like the fall and winter, but it is lovely. I really want to pick up a full size of a few of them, but they are expensive. And this one is the Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I decided to try this one out even though it's not cruelty free. Fragrances are hard for me to find cruelty free ones that actually work on my body chemistry. This one was okay. I got it because I know my husband likes the male version of it. It was just okay. Not my favorite. I don't really like the florally fruity scents. I like... I don't know what I like. <laughs> this one is the Etat Libre d'Orange. Orange. I, I'm terrible at speaking French, but it is I am trash. This is practically full, but I have to toss it because my husband absolutely cannot stand this on me. It actually gives him a headache whenever I wear it, and I love my husband and I don't want to put him through any pain, so unfortunately I really like the scent, but I have to toss it so I don't cause him any further pain. A very disgusting Kiss Lash Glue. I love this. I have bought like five backups already favorite lash glue ever. And then this is a Lottie London freckle tint. I used this up completely. I did really like this one. It was a little more orange compared to like the freck or the lime crime one that they use, but I did really enjoy it and I will probably pick it up again eventually. Or maybe Lottie London wants to sponsor me again. And the last several products are all brow pencils and gels. So these are the Anastasia Dip Brow Gels in Taupe and Auburn. I really enjoyed both of these. These two kind of go hand in hand because they're Urban Decay. So I have the Brow Blade in Ginger Snap and the Brow Endowed in Ginger Snap. I will say, I will say, I think that this shade, this line of everything, both of these, are the absolute perfect shade for gingers of my type of ginger. I am just in love with this. These are the products I wore for my wedding day. I love these that much. Urban K, I love you, but you just never acknowledge me and that hurts, but I will continue to buy your products because you do well. I have an Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Straw Burn. I like this one, but it was a little bit too light for me. I do prefer a darker brow. This is the Baby Hair Brow Pencil from the brand Alma Beauty and there's actually quite a lot left in here but it just does not work for me. This was the lightest shade that I bought when I again was blonde and had or had blonde pieces in my hair and it just did not work for me. It was just too light for you know my brow hairs. My brows aren't dyed or anything but it just didn't work for me. Same with the Fenty brow. I have I actually used this all up. This one was in the shade Dark Ash Blonde. This actually worked pretty well. Um, was it my favorite formula? No. Would I try it again? Maybe. Maybe in a different shade. But the Fendi one wasn't bad, just not my favorite. And this one is the e.l.f. Instant Brow Lift one. This one was just okay, a little too waxy. The you know pencil on it was a little too thick, but I liked it. I liked the color. A little dark on the auburn side. It was like a darker auburn. Not bad. Not my favorite. But again, Elf, I love you. I love you. And then the last product I want to talk about is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I had this explode all over me. Cool. This is in the shade Taupe. Yes, Taupe. Again, I had this when I had blonde in my hair. So I really like this. I actually have it in two other shades right now. I think I have a more caramel one and a more auburn one, I think. I really do like this. It works wonderful. And that is my entire empties. Oh my god, I went through a lot of products. So I am currently forcing myself into a no buy because I am leaving my job and that means I won't have any extra money to waste on makeup. So I have to continue to use what I own and eventually I will just use up products and then have to be forced to, you know, get other products. But the empty basket will be no more. There will be no more empties videos on this channel. I just wanted to finish it out because why not? If you have any product suggestions of stuff that I should try when my no buy is up, let me know. Or tell me a reason why I should break my no buy because that will be fun too. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this. Don't forget to follow and like, subscribe, and 
all that jazz. I am artistry x ash on all my other social medias. I am posting more frequently now, and yeah, have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.